All right. Good day, everybody. What's up? Today, I'm going to be showing you an excellent way to start your day if you're on a keto diet. As you may well know, if you know me, that I am on a keto diet and I have been for about the last six months. It really works out well for me, keeping the carbs low, you know, keeps the blood sugar level. Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Right now, I'm going to let you know this really quick meal, how to start the day amazingly with eggs, some veggies, fiber, lots of fats, and of course, water. I mean, I recommend everybody drinks a lot of water, more than what you think. So I, I always start the day with one liter of water. So this is how we do it. Yeah, get it down. Don't sit around sipping it, you'll forget about it. Just get it straight down your neck, easy peasy. So, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do scrambled eggs with butter, and we're gonna do it with um, some seasonings, some spinach, and some sunflower seeds. You can use any kind of seeds you want. Hemp seeds, pumpkin seeds. Um, I like, I really like pumpkin seeds, but uh, Sunflower seeds work pretty good. So we're going to start with getting this hob hot. You want it nice and hot when you put the eggs in. Now this, the point of this meal is it's really quick. You know, you don't want to be messing around in the morning, cooking for ages. You want to get it done really quick. Everything sorted. And then you can go about your business. You don't have to worry about all this cooking for ages. So... Get your eggs in. I'm gonna have four eggs today. Sometimes I have five, four or five eggs is good. Literally, whatever you feel like, you know. Um, like if you're a small guy or a small girl, you might just wanna have three eggs. Uh, but if you're a big, sort of chunky, individual or you've got a heavy weight you know 200 pounds of pure muscle you might want to eat eight eggs right it's whatever you need to keep your body sustained All right so we're just going to beat these eggs i'm going to uh have a little bit of mustard you know a lot of people don't like mustard but i like mustard in my scrambled eggs they add some flavor add some seasoning uh, and that's what that's important so I'll just get some of this on my fork about half a teaspoon we're going to beat these eggs really quick. All right, I want to get that wrist action, that flick, flick of the wrist. Yep. I'm going to get them fully combined, no whites separated. So. That pan's starting to get hot now. So I'm going to take about two tablespoons of this butter and add it directly into my pan here. Let's get these scrambled eggs going. It's about two tablespoons there. I'm just going to wait till it's completely melted. Gonna let it sizzle on. Okay, get that pan going around, get it melted. Oh, I'm excited. I'm hungry right now. Yeah. Get some air in this. Okay, top, just starting to sizzle. Good sizzling. All right, just get in here. Good, so now I'm gonna take my silicone spoon, start combining it. Getting in really good. Yep, it's looking good. Yep. 
So now I'm just working it gently. It's on a, it's on a quite a high heat here, so it's going to cook really quickly. Now, across the world, there's a variety of different styles of scrambled eggs. There's French eggs where they cook very slow in a bain marie. If you don't know what that is, it's over a it's over a boiling water in a bowl. Uh, there's English style where you cook them on a medium heat and keep them stirring for about ten minutes. Then there's the U.S. style, which is like this, where you actually have a hot pan and you just gently stir them around till they cook. And this is the quickest way. And this is what I like for a really quick start to the day. Lots of energy, lots of fats. You know, and the reason I'm not just eating eggs here is because eggs are really absorbed super quickly in the stomach. And you're going to be hungry straight away if you eat just eggs. But if you're adding the veggies, the spinach here, and uh, the, the seeds, add some fiber, it all breaks down more slowly. You stay full for longer. And you're getting more vitamins, micronutrients, which are absolutely important. A lot of people say, oh, you know, I don't know why i got low energy all the time. Oh, I don't know why I'm sick all the time. It's because you're not giving your body what it needs to have a healthy immune system. So get it right. Get your nutrition right. And you have a good quality life. So what I say. All right. So these eggs are done now. So I'm going to get them straight in this bowl. Straight back in. Don't worry, they're hot. They're going to sanitize that bowl as soon as they hit that. Alright, so don't worry about any raw eggs or anything. You know, we live in a day nowadays where you're not going to get salmonella. You know, Rocky eats raw eggs. I'm sure lots of other people eat raw eggs. Right, so we're going to get some more butter here. About one tablespoon this time. Straight in. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay. And this is going to melt. While this is melting, I'm going to get into my spinach here. Now I've got about 100 grams of spinach. You don't have to eat 100 grams. You can eat 50. I'm going to eat about two thirds of this bag. Uh, the great thing about spinach is that it's scientifically proven to improve muscle, improve muscle endurance and uh, strength output over a per prolonged period of time. So, um, you know, you're going to be able to like hit the bench press for longer, do push-ups for longer, you have more endurance. It's like nature's natural creatine. It's amazing. So, eat your, eat your spinach just like Popeye. Train, work hard. Straight in. There we go. This is going to cook really quickly. I'm going to get some cayenne pepper. Now, I love cayenne pepper. It packs flavor. You know, it helps boost the metabolism because of that capsicum. And uh, also, cayenne is a really good source of vitamin C. I'm going to get another pinch in there. That's two pinches. It's going to be spicy. All right. So, just let it simmer. Make sure it's all on the heat. Give it like a minute. And then it's going to be pretty much ready. Just let it go. All right, we're going to sit back and let this cook. All right, the spinach is done now. So we're going to, you know, you don't want to get it super wilted down. You just want to get it, you want to get it just so it's starting to turn a dark green there. Yeah, just starting to turn. All right, it's done. Literally, one minute. Straight in the bowl. Okay. Now, it's pan still hot. So we're going to get into the seeds. We're going to toast them. So that's going to release some of the fat, it's going to break down some of the fibers, it's going to give it some texture and some more flavor. So be careful when you're handling knives guys, don't stab yourself. All right, I'm using about, I don't know, two tablespoons there. All right, this is packed with fats, good fats too. So uh, yeah, we're going to add a little bit of Olive oil. Use good quality olive oil, extra virgin. 
got more healthy fatty acids, you know. And anyone who says that fat isn't good for you, you're going to have to get with the times, guys. It's not the 1950s where they say you, you can't eat fat, so it's going to give you heart disease, you know. Especially on the keto diet, the more healthy fats you eat, the more energy you're going to have, the more ketosis you're going to have going on, and you're going to be giving yourself a whole lot of healthy nutrients. So, you know, anyone who says that fat isn't good for you, read up about it. Don't tell me about it because I know what I'm talking about, okay? Don't try and give me a lesson. Okay, so that's sizzling straight away. Good. Really good. Just sizzle. You want to sizzle them for about a minute. See, what, see all those bubbles? See all that bubbling action? That's what you want. None of this just sitting there doing nothing. You want to get some sizzling going. And what they're going to do is they're going to brown up. And they're going to expand really quickly. As soon as they puff up, they're done. You want to burn them. All right, guys, pay attention when you're cooking. Don't walk off. Start making a phone call. Right, this is when you need to pay attention. Mmm. Smell good. It smells so toasty. This is what's going to wake you up in the morning and make you feel amazing. Just having some good nutrients in your body. Nearly done. See that pop? You listen to this? You hear that? Alright. They're popping open now. They're ready to go. There we go. Straight in. So that's your breakfast. You know, you can eat this any day, any time of the day, realistically. But uh, when you've got, when you're short on time, just want to have some quick, high fat, high nutrient dense food. Get you going quickly. This is what you need. So, on that note, I'm going to taste some of these eggs. I bet it tastes amazing. Let's have a taste. Mmm. Mmm. Especially with these sunflower seeds. And that cayenne. I know I'm going to be having an excellent day today. Now, I hope you have an excellent day wherever you are. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.